24th of June, Fort McMurray, Prince Albert, Winnipeg. Early start again, with Tony and Sedaway at 0700 hours for Prince Albert, transversing very sparsely populated areas, heavily wooded and interspersed with thousands of multi-shaped lakes of all sizes. In contrast to yesterday, the visibility was fantastic, more than 50 miles, with not a cloud in sight. At Prince Albert, a quick turnaround was engineered. Bill exchanged cockpits with Tony Cowan and the chipmunks were off on the 376 mile leg over wonderful scenery to Winnipeg, taking advantage of the favourable tailwind to complete the trip in 3 hours 35 minutes. At Winnipeg International Airport, we were directed to the military dispersal for a warm welcome by Group Captain McNeil, the base commander, Wing Commander Williams, an RAF exchange officer, and a host of curious personnel. The Hercules, contacted three days previous, had dropped off our oil as promised, and it was on the dispersal for collection. Today had been a good day. Six hours, 30 minutes flown, in almost cloud-free skies over incredibly beautiful countryside without any hassle whatsoever. We all hope that such conditions are here to stay for the foreseeable future. Our appointment at Fairford draws ever closer. Flight Lieutenant John Dale, a VRT officer in the Air Training Corps and commanding officer of the Barnsley Squadron, had managed to obtain sponsorship and is now in Downsview awaiting our arrival. He is a very competent photographer and runs his own part-time business around his full-time employment as a fire officer. John is liaising with de Havilland at Downsview and intends to accompany us back to the UK as the official expedition photographer for that portion of the route. Concern about threatened industrial action by the Downsview workforce has forced alternative arrangements to be made for arrival at Toronto City Airport if the strike materialises. John, however, is confident that the venue will be Downsview.